Four California teenagers returned to Northern California this afternoon after they were held and interrogated by Russian police. An 18-year-old from Chico was among those released by a Russian judge after being detained during a youth leadership conference in St. Petersburg. New tonight, CBS 13 Steve Large is live in Atomas where he met up with a family on their way back home to Chico. Steve? What is a Chico High School senior? He was detained, fingerprinted, and interrogated by Russian police back on Thursday. Tonight, he'll finally be sleeping in the comfort of his own bed. I believe that we got caught up in a bigger case than what it probably should have been. Sterling Winter is home from an international adventure a few 18-year-olds can match, complete with Russian court documents. We never felt unsafe. Our safety was never really in question, um, but we were definitely feeling a little bit uneasy and not knowing who was listening to us and who was following us. And we had some pictures taken in our evidence that was pictures that were kind of taken in a very discreet way. These are pictures of Winter with his California peers in St. Petersburg, Russia. They were there for a youth leadership conference when their visit suddenly took a tense turn. Police detained them while Russian TV cameras rolled. We were portrayed as brainwashing Russian students in multiple newscasts. A judge ruled the group was in Russia on improper visas. They were put on a no-fly list. Eventually, the judge allowed them to leave after issuing a small fine. Sterling arrived home at San Francisco International Airport to U.S. news cameras and mom and dad. The first few hours were the most um, anxious because we didn't have all the details of what was going on. We sort of felt confident throughout that it would all work out and then he would come home and it would be fine. But there was always that little doubt that would creep in. A family at the center of an international incident. It was very scary because we don't know the we don't know the system as well. He was in Russia to study youth leadership. What he got was a crash course in U.S. Russian relations. It's very interesting how the youth and the older leadership does not have the same ideas and what is okay and what is good. I had an opportunity to talk to the executive director of this youth group. She tells me she believes that this entire case is a symbol that Americans will no longer be able to get Russia tourist visas. Business visas into Russia are already very difficult to obtain. Raising further questions about the U.S.-Russian relationship. Okay, Steve, thanks very much for the live report tonight.